Hi, I'm Marcel. Welcome back to The Pulse. Today I'm going to talk about Fizotin. Now I started taking Fizotin about a month ago and I had some immediate results taking it, a uh, boost of energy for like a day or two especially. I took it for about six, seven days and then I stopped when I started getting some comments about these clinical trials where they're doing a hit and run approach of taking Fizotin in a higher dosage, a much higher dosage than I was taking. And it was intriguing enough that I made a video about it and decided to also try it a month later. So here we are now in August and I'm trying this hit and run approach of taking uh, a larger dosage of Fizotin. Now, James Kirkland is a professor at the Mayo Clinic, and he spearheaded and documented a lot of the research into Fizotin. He also tests a pharmaceutical called Desantinib, which they combine with Quercetin, but most of the trials are including just Fizotin to kill off senescent cells. Now, senescent cells are cells in our body that stop dividing, and they become senescent and sort of uh, zombie cells where they can do a lot of damage. They can create inflammation, they can cause disease. Uh, they've been linked to things like Alzheimer's and osteoporosis and various other diseases potentially. So reducing them in animals has shown significant improvement and reduction in those diseases and actually longer lifespan, certainly longer health span. The results were so compelling in the animal trials that they've begun dozens of human trials across the country. And this has just exploded over the past couple of years. So we're hearing more and more about it. David Sinclair recently started talking more about Fizotin because the results of these trials have been preliminarily so exciting and so impressive. They're giving this in these human trials to very sick people. People who basically have no other options, people who are very frail. Typical candidate would be like an 85 year old woman who can't walk very well. They give them these senolytics, and six days later, their frailty scores improve. So this is really dramatic stuff that we can get immediate results with. So my Fizotin flush, or Fizotin purge, as I call it, my senescent purge, is uh, done with 1,600 milligrams of Fizotin, and I'm gonna take it for a couple days. Most of the trials are doing it for two days. Some of the trials are three days, but because I take some other senolytics normally, uh, quercetin and resveratrol that I alternate, and I also take spermidine, which acts as a senolytic in addition to other benefits that it offers, all of these supplements do multiple things, but today we're mostly focusing on these as senolytics or senescent cell killers. Fizotin, the one that I buy, comes with 400 milligrams. To take the hit and run dosage, it's 1600. So these capsules, I open them up and I put them on my yogurt. This is typically the super yogurt that I make and I eat every day from somewhere around 11 to 12 a.m. I put the powder of the resveratrol or the quercetin right into the yogurt, mix it in just like I'm doing here with the Fizotin. Uh, they even say on the container that you should take it with a source of fat because it's just not bioavailable. And that's the case with a lot of polyphenols like this. So I mix it in really well into the yogurt and it'll sort of take on this yellow color when it's really uh, good and dissolved. Now this is a 10% fat content Greek yogurt. Now David Sinclair takes, I think he said a zero fat content yogurt with his resveratrol in the mornings. Why that still has a fat content if it's zero fat, I don't know, but I take a lot more of it because I have no weight issues. I've had no issues from consuming the calories I consume. And so 10%, it just gives me a nice, refills my calories really well and the fat content. I exercise three to five hours every day. And yesterday I'll talk more in, in a minute about all the exercise that I did the day, the first day that I did this. Today is day two. And I'm gonna talk about more about the results just in a minute. Now, the next thing I put into the yogurt there is uh, organic mixed grains. Uh, I mix in that to give it some substance, make it last a little bit longer so I don't get hungry so soon. And I like the texture of it. I like, uh, I like the taste of it with the yogurt instead of just eating yogurt. I also mix in some strawberries. I used to mix in locally sourced honey, 
but uh, I stopped doing that because it was just too much sugar. I quit sugar almost exclusively and even the honey was too much. And then I pour in some pistachios over the top of that and that basically finishes off the yogurt. So uh, later in the day, I took the other two capsules. So that was two capsules, that was 800 milligrams. And about three hours later, personally, I just don't like taking 1600 milligrams or four capsules of anything all at once. So I wanted to divide it out just a little bit, just to be slightly on the safe side. I had no issues, I had no side effects from Fizotin at all, but I went ahead and took the, the other two capsules three hours later with some olive oil. I consume a lot of olive oil already. It's also a very good sirtuin activator. It complements itself well to the overall protocol of NMN and resveratrol. So I felt like it was a, a good candidate for a fat candidate to take the, the rest of the Fizotin. Now, if you remember the first ones I was taking, I was taking 800. I was taking a tablet in the morning and one in the evening. And then that's when some commenters sort of started to ask me about this. Some viewers started to ask me in the comments about this. And I decided to go ahead and change it and do this hit and run. So I took quite a bit of it. And according to Dr. Kirkland, the senescent killing starts taking place within 11 hours of taking those dosages. I kind of wasn't surprised that I was getting such immediate energy boost from the first time I was taking it. But yesterday's boost was really at another level. And Quite honestly, it was stunning. It really did surprise me because as I've documented here before, there's only a couple supplements that give me an immediate impact, any kind of immediate positive results. Those are NMN and CAAKG to a lesser extent. The rest of them I take on faith based on the science, but I can't say that I feel something two hours later or a few hours later. But yesterday I went out, did my walk, did my run, felt like I could have kept running. You know, I'm not big into distance running, but I ran a couple miles and felt like I could have kept going. Instead, I went to the tennis courts, worked on some serves. Um, a guy came by that I knew, hit with me for about 15 minutes, and I was moving around the court and getting to balls and making shots that I just don't normally make consistently in this sort of warm up. I felt so good out there. So that really surprised me. And then I came home and lifted weights. It happened to be a weight day. Now we're talking about 11 hours later when I'm doing the weights. And I lifted weights with a voraciousness, with an appetite that I hadn't I don't remember in 30 years. I've been lifting weights effectively, efficiently since January. NMN has given me the energy to do it, the strength to do it, more importantly, the recovery. But I hadn't been feeling this, wow, I wanna do two more, and sort of yelling like, yes, yes, just like you, know, you do when you're younger and you're working out in the gym. You go to a gym with a bunch of well-built guys and you'll hear them shouting at their weights or shouting at their weightlifting partner. But I was doing that like as I'm lifting, and it really caught me off guard, but it was like an impulse kind of thing. And I did do extra sets and some extra reps. Then uh, I about, I guess I finished at something like 10.30, 11 o'clock, I was ready for bed, which isn't a big surprise. I've been going to bed somewhere around 11 to 12, and NMN has been helping me sleep a lot better. But uh, I slept like a rock. I mean, I was really totally out. And I got up at 9 a.m. Matter of fact, it was just past 9 a.m., which doesn't happen, even with the NMN. I, I got up like 5.30, went to the restroom, and then made a beeline back to the bed and slept like a rock till past nine. Uh, I could get away with it because my family's away at my sister-in-law's right now. But uh, I can just tell you, it's not a normal thing. Normally, if I'm waking up at 5.30, I go make my coffee. I start checking the comments here on the channel, and my day's gets going. But uh, to sleep till nine, it really, I was behind the curve in my usual schedule, but I felt great and I feel great. And today is day two, still feeling good. Haven't gone out and done any exercise yet. I'm going to do that later. But to get those kind of results on day one and for it to be so singular and in, in intensity and then amazing sleep results, 
definitely point anecdotally to a big impact on Pfizer and, and makes me really understand why it's getting so much attention to the point that it is. And now I'm a, I'm a believer in this hit and run approach. I think it, it can really work for people. But what my results, what might it mean? What it might mean? It could mean that it was something missing in my protocol where doing this you know, massive kill off of senescent cells was just what I needed to maximize everything else I'm doing. It could also mean that those of you taking NMN and either getting only slight results or getting no results, which is a small percentage, but there are still some people out there saying they're not getting the results that anywhere close to what I'm getting at least, maybe that's missing in your protocol as well. So it's worth thinking about it. Talk to your doctor, maybe give it a try. One way or another, I'm really grateful for you guys for making those comments. So let me know what you think. Try and take it, see how it goes for you, and then come back and let us all know so we can start to form a consensus on this Fisotin senescent purge. So go ahead and subscribe and check out my other video about the Mayo Clinic and other human clinical trials about Fisotin.